fact that nearly everything was getting more expensive did not deter us from splashing the cash last month. Retail trade rebounded. Our biggest splurge was on clothing and eating out. Makes sense. Wednesday's inflation data told us that consumer prices are rising by more than expected. But so is the cost of doing business. The producer price index out today lifted 1.1% in the September quarter, or 2.9% over the year. That's just a shade under the CPI's increase. The biggest drivers were manufacturing and housing construction costs. The inflation data is adding pressure to the Reserve Bank to raise rates, with the market now betting it could be as soon as mid-next year. Luckily, a large swathe of borrowers are prepared for this. A third of ANZ's borrowers are more than two years ahead on repayments. Only 2% are behind. Meanwhile, lending data out from the RBA today showed credit growth accelerated at its fastest pace in four years, ahead of new tighter lending rules. The local market fell today and the Australian dollar rose after the RBA gave up trying to keep longer term interest rates low, which it had been doing by buying particular government bonds. It caused much excitement for the pointy heads in the markets. For everyone else, online food delivery firm Marley Spoon went seriously south on an update, as did Vulcan Energy. Banks and miners also slipped. Lastly, Facebook announced its name change to Meta and it hopes a change in its performance. Here it is against what's known as the fang stocks, Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Netflix, Google. But are they now gonna be called the mangs? That's finance.